controlling it. Our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. That's the setting for the Lakers. The intimidation factor looms large. Anthony Davis is locked in and focused on winning, trying to lead his team as they get ready for action in Capital One Arena. Lakers, Wizards, don't leave your seat. We'll be right back. Put me on top, city on lock, they like when he gon' drop. We ain't had enough, speaking down, but they know who coming up. And I'm still on my way. But the top don't look too far for me. Never caught off, not one too far for me. Never caught off, not one day. Oh, but I'm still on my way. Thanks, everyone, for joining 2K Sports for this Wednesday evening presentation of the NBA. Brian Anderson with you. Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill joining us tonight, along with the fourth member of our team, Allie LaForce. Let's take a look at the numbers for Rui Achimura. And by looking at his true shooting percentage over the last five games, you can see how much he's paying attention to his shot selection, and it's showing. Here are the five for the Lakers. It's LeBron at power forward, AD as the center. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo, and it's Achimura in at the three spot. And for Washington, Avdia and Kuzma at the forward slots. Jones and Poole teaming up in the backcourt, and it's Holmes in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And now that we're late into the season, Grant, what do you think teams are trying to accomplish? Well, you know, B.A., for the playoff teams, it's all about getting the best seed and matchup possible. And if course for those lottery teams just continuing to develop and build winning habits tip off goes to the Lakers Russell to pass to James out to the wing Kuzma against Achimura pass to Davis Six to shoot, shoots over Holmes, and off there, he misses his first shot of the night. Now here's Poole. Kuzma outside, back to Poole. Down low, here's Holmes. Oh, it's Holmes with the big jam. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. On the wing, Reeves. James, a screen on pool. Pass to Russell. Back to Reeves. And here's Achimura. Here's James. And he buries his first look. Well, there are times where the court vision gets questioned, but Rui Hachimura, the delivery, sets up his teammate. Really well done. Grant, you grew up here in Washington, D.C. What's the hoop scene like here? Well, B.A., they love the game of basketball here. And the fans are unbelievable. So many stars from here, like Kevin Durant. So D.C. is kind of a sneaky, underrated basketball city. Now here's Russell. He had 25 points in his last game. Hachimura, the pass to James. From downtown, and again for three. And he's hit thousands of threes in the league. Oh, my. Inching closer to fifth place on the career triples list. Yeah, well, Kyle Korver is currently fifth. And, of course, Steph Curry has that number one spot. Pool from long range. Drills it from deep. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now, here is James. 23 points his last outing. Over Kuzma. And again, it's the Lakers. Yeah, one of the best in the history of the league. Just taking advantage of what the defense wants to give him. LeBron, the midi. Yes, sir. It's Avdia on the wing. From outside, off the mark. 
<laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Here's Russell. And he can't get that one. Excellent D there from Holmes. Now here's Poole. Defense right on it. Kuzma finds Poole. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Yeah, Kyle Kuzma, we think of him as a scorer, but that was a tough target to miss. Wide open. Russell, the pass to James. That shot's good. Russell making the play. James has got 10 points. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Holmes, good. Good heads up basketball. Sees an opening and capitalizes. And so it's James with it. He brings it up for the Lakers. Left side, Russell. And he's going for the lob. And Davis slams it home. Throw it AD's way, and he'll take care of the rest. A huge alley-oop target for his teammates. Poole outside. Jones against Russell. Back to Poole. Here's Avdia. Yet to see a basket. Kuzma for three. Russell with the rebound. 144 left in the first quarter of the game. Hachimura, the pass to Reeves. Here's James. Over Avdia. That one rolls around and rims out. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Back to Kuzma. Pass to Jones. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Lakers. And here for you now, a look at the NBA's premier setup men in the season's second half. LeBron James, third. And since the All-Star break, his passing has been incredible. Just finding his guys in their spots and playing the role of facilitator. Timeout called the Lakers. Washington making some changes. Kispert's checked in for Kuzma. Champini comes in for Poole. And it's Shannon in for Jones. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Hayes is checked in for James. Prince comes in for Achimura. Reddish is checked in for Reeves. And Vincent is subbed in for Russell. Here's Prince. His stats right now averaging nine points a game. Pass to Vincent. From the arc. It's not going to go for him. Washington has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Here's Avdia. He's defended by Hayes. And again, Washington, no good. Los Angeles has gone two for three from outside the arc. Reddish passes to Davis. Using his post moves to get the two points. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. Pass to Shaman. Lays it up and banks it in. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. The Lakers in the lead. And here's Davis. A real weapon on offense. Averaging around 24 and a half a game. Now Reddish. Shot is up. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's off target. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one. The Lakers on top. They're up by three. Let's take a quick break. And then it's on to the second quarter after this. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And from what we've seen from the Lakers, what's your take so far? 
Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. And that was obviously the plan coming in. Now the big question, can they maintain that efficiency from range as the game goes along? Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Grant, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy, and Darvin was a really tough player, too. I mean, he went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. We've got Kyle Kuzma. He's out there with Corey Kispert. Marvin Bagley is out there with Landry Shamit. And it's Champagne at the two. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Wizards. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Vincent passes to James. Whoa! Are you kidding me, LeBron? LeBron James, ever the showman with an exceptional slam there. One of the best dunkers in the history of the game. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. And we're now about a minute into the second quarter of play. Back to Shaman. Launches it. The Lakers with a rebound. Last time, they met in Los Angeles. And that one, the other team could not keep up with them offensively. <laughs> they were prolific. Well, let's give some credit to the coaching staff as well, recognizing the weaknesses in that defense and going after each one of them. Well, the defense daring him to shoot, and he makes them pay for their disrespect. Here's James. Oh, LeBron! LeBron. Just too much to handle inside. And what you're seeing is LeBron James get to the spots on the floor he wants to, and now you're going to have to try to break his rhythm. That's tough to do. Here's Kuzma. It's hauled in by Reddish. The Lakers trail. It's James on the wing. And James throws it down. Forget his age. LeBron is still one of the strongest players in the league. Pass to Bagley. Bagley sets a screen. Inside. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to go on Jackson Hayes. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Lakers? They've done a great job establishing an inside presence. Now, that'll open up more options offensively throughout the remainder of the game. We've also seen them show a willingness to take advantage of the mid-range opportunities. The defense conceding these looks, and they're cashing in. Hachimura has checked in for Los Angeles. D'Angelo Russell comes in for Reddish, and he's good on the second. And the NBA doing what they could to get rid of the take foul recently. Grant, it seems like a success. Absolutely. It's been a huge success. Fast breaks feel fast again. And penalizing take fouls has made the game much, much better. Hachimura outside. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Rashawn Holmes picks one up. Well, you know Rui wants to score it. He will not retreat in the face of some tough defense. Nicely done. Free throw good. Hachimura. Eldors the Wizards have some star power, but they're kind of stuck in the middle of things. B.A., unless you have top free agents coming your way, it is so hard to get over the hump. It's about drafting well. Your player development has to be next level. It is not easy for the Washington Wizards right now. Now here's Poole. He's got five. The shot from 20 feet out. And it won't go. His first miss. He's two of three now. The Lakers have gotten three of four field goals in the second quarter. Russell deciding where to go with it. Back to Achimura. Let's the three fly. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Three point field. Russell's got three assists in the game. And this is what we're seeing. Rui Hachimura understanding I've got to expand my range. This is huge for his development. Now here's Poole. Coming off a 16 point game against Milwaukee. Kispert on the wing. Outside Jones. Driving to the basket, and he's in the books. Now one for two. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. James against Holmes. 
exchange. Passes to Russell. Here's Prince. Pass to James. The three from Russell. Kispert grabs a miss. Washington has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Kuzma outside. Outside Jones. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now just a one-point Laker lead. I'll tell you, you allow him to get to a spot, and it's over, right? Defense unable to even challenge the shot. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They put up a nice win against Toronto last time out. Oh, my. Talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them. But they were able to focus and finish the task at hand. I thought what really stood out was how dominant they were on the offensive end. That was about as flawless as you could hope for. The Wizards making a switch here. Avdi has checked in. Now here's Reddish. Outside for Davis. Pass to Reeves. Reddish with it. Davis a screen. Beyond the arc. Reddish misses. Washington's gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Stolen by Russell. Out of bounds. It'll be Washington's ball. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Kyle Kuzma. And his scoring numbers have been moving in the right direction these past few years. He's continued to get better at adjusting to what opposing defenses are throwing at him. And he's finding ways to get buckets by any means necessary. Kuzma's checked in for Washington. And the Lakers also making a switch. Prince has checked in for Reddit. Jones' his shot is good. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Russell, the pass to Davis. Jones against Russell. Back to Davis. And finished off by Davis. Yeah, this is how powerful Davis is. Awesome at capitalizing with the dunk. Jones against Russell. Jones, the pass to Poole. On the wing, Kuzma. Picked by Holmes. Kuzma, the open look. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. With the defense absent, that was a great opportunity, but no go. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Russell against Jones. Five to shoot. Pass to Reeves. Jacks up a three. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got his fifth assist in this one. When Russell gets his teammates involved, it makes this entire team better, and it'll make him more effective at the point position. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. The Lakers on top. They're up by four. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Put your hands together, fans. And give up. Hey, everybody. Psst. I got a secret. We're approaching the playoffs, and we are starting the show with a breakdown of the Western Conference standings. Check it out, Los Angeles. They played okay, but unfortunately, that's not getting you into the playoffs. They were hoping to take the next step this year. That led to a lot of frustration for everybody. Their fans are hangry. They wanted to eat. And turning our attention back to this game, guys, LeBron James had his fingerprints all over that first half. Oh, he's going hard in the paint, taking it right at the defense. I love his commitment to getting high percentage looks, Shaq. Look, I don't do this often, but I'm bestowing upon him the Shaquille O'Neal Badge of Honor. Got to. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. And a 
after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. You know, LeBron James has been exceptional here, guys. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. It felt like his work on the interior really gave this offense a boost. Let's see if he can dominate the rest of the way. Here's who Darvin Ham is starting in the second half. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. And it's Achimura in at the small forward position. Well, the unique three-game fashion sense of Kyle Kuzma always seems to be generating buzz doors. I like it, B.A. He is very tapped into the fashion world. He certainly has shown off some intriguing, shall we say, looks on his way into the building. But I am all about it. And that one misses. Washington trailing. Jones with the ball. Holmes passes to Poole. Floats one. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. To the wing on the left. Hachimura outside. Outside for Russell. From outside the arc. That's in there. Davis with the assist. And it's a nine-point Laker lead. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, the Wizards not making the playoffs the last couple of seasons motivated them to bring in some youth in Jordan Poole. And the players say that they've seen dramatic improvements from player facilities, energy, and player development. They said they're transitioning. They're going in the right direction, but they still have a lot of improvements to make. Good point, Allie. Thank you. Lakers ball. Let's take a look at the real numbers from the NBA. The top rebounders over the past 10 games. Second is Anthony Davis. Over these last 10 games, this guy has owned the boards, playing so well as of late. Los Angeles has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line in this one. Kuzma against James. Davis, a screen. Can he keep it going? And Davis slams it home. And the length is hard to contend with. Davis using all of it for the putback points there. And out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it. Just five games left on the year. Let's take a look at the current seedings in the West. Taking a look at the Lakers. The season is winding down. They sit ninth on the outside looking in currently. When I look at the Lakers, they failed to deliver the great season people were hoping for, but it's far from hopeless. Plenty of time to turn things around for them. It's an amazing thing. If you can get a couple of wins, generate some momentum, you've got to believe they'll be just fine. The shot by Reeves, no good. And so it's Kuzma who brings up the ball for the Wizards. They're scoreless since the first half. They set the pick to end the run. The Lakers with a rebound. Davis has got rebound number seven tonight. Boy, yet another missed opportunity here. Whatever they talked about at halftime, it's not working. Here's Reeves. And it's off from three-point range. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Right here. Poole, the pass to Holmes. Right Stolen by Russell. To the inside. Oh! Classic move by LeBron James. Oh, no, stop it. That one just too easy for LeBron James. So high above the rim. And the Wizards right now, call right time here. They're looking to do something to stop this run. They have to get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. Kispert's checked in for Kuzma. The Lakers also with a sub. Vincent's checked in for Reeves. Let's give it up one more time for your Wizards dancer. It's time to make some noise. Get up, get up. 
Here's Kispert. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Here's Russell. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. And the Lakers lead by 15. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Pass to Kispert. Back to Jones. To the paint. It's tipped. Oh, it's stolen by Achimura. Here's Russell. I tell you, proving how dangerous he can be inside. D'Angelo Russell forcing the defense to make a commitment. Second team foul. At the line for the Lakers. Free throw is good from Russell. Taking two shots. So he picks up just one from the line that time. The Wizards have gone 0 for 4. Not the way they want to start the second half. Well, Denny Avdia was born in Israel, where we don't see many NBA players hail from, Doris. No, B.A., definitely a rare sight. He is just the fourth player from Israel since 2010 to debut in the NBA. This is why we love the game. It has such a worldwide reach. It's not easy to work the ball inside in this league, but they've done it all night. James, outside. They set a pick. Pass to Vincent. Now Davis, defended by Holmes. Outside for Russell. Six on the shot clock. Hachimura, great positioning on the putback. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Here's Avdia. Now here's Jones, guarded by Russell. Jones against Russell. Back to Avdia. Pass to Poole. Here's the three. Oh, using that sweet stroke. Poole connects from deep. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. James, outside. Here's Davis, defended by Holmes. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Washington has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Pass to Jones. Poole outside. Jones sets a screen. Washington making some changes. Kuzma's checked in for Avdia. Champini comes in for Poole. And it's Shamit in for Jones. And the Lakers making a change here. Here's Champagne, Reddish covering. Kuzma with a screen on Reddish. Pass to Holmes. Here's Shamit. Just five on the clock. Well, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. Now here's Davis. Give him eight. A shot from the low post is good. Davis has gotten four this quarter. Big time strength by Davis. Outstanding job finishing through contact. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers liking their chances. Ending the quarter with a 15-point lead. They just can't miss right now. Every shot they're taking, you assume, is going in. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. And 
And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. They've got Landry Shamit, Kyle Kuzma out there with Kispert, then it's Marvin Bagley, and it's Champagne at two guard. That's the group for Washington right now. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Lakers. I mean, they've played some beautiful basketball all game. The passing has been impressive, and it's opened up things with their ball movement. I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. And for Washington, they're shooting around 50% of the game so far. Bagley sets a screen. Here's Shaman. Pass to Bagley. Over Hayes. And that one's good. Bagley. This is where he's so effective, attacking in the lane. Los Angeles has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Reddish passes to James. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That'll belong to Kyle Kuzma. Despite the fact that LeBron James is now in the league for over two decades, he continues to dominate. Both free throws good from James. And they've been so much more aggressive drawing the whistle here in the second half. Out to the right wing. Here's Bagley. Uses the glass on the layup. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Vincent passes to James. Hayes with a screen on Kuzma to the middle. Hayes misses. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Pass to Shaman. Hayes against Bagley. Over Hayes. Bagley, no good. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Oh, LeBron hammers it home. Come on now, guys. That's flat out insane. Hey, when's the last time you saw a jam like that? On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. Here's Shaman. Now here's Kuzma. The three. And the Wizards with another three. Oh, well, you know how lethal Kyle Kuzma as a catch and shoot option is. Go ahead, young fella. Is James on the wing, defended by Kuzma. James deciding where to go with it. Clock at six. Hayes with a screen on Kuzma. James finds Hayes. The first one falls. And I heard Giannis Antetokounmpo say he would have loved to go to your alma mater, Grant, because of all the tall and skilled players that have come out of Duke. You know, B.A., I'm not sure he mentioned me on that list, but certainly nice to hear that from Giannis. Holmes passes to Jones. Here's Poole. Three-pointer. And the Wizards with another three. The three-pointer becomes a very percentage shot when he's that wide open. You better get a hand in his face. Pass to James. Back to Russell. Throws it up high and slam dunked by James. That's a vicious assault on the rim by LeBron. Incredibly accomplished dunker who's still got plenty of bounce in his step. Now here's Holmes. Pool, the pass to Holmes. Outside Jones. Now Pool, pass to Kuzma. No good on the triple. Hey, the struggle is real. He hasn't found much success with his offense today. James against Pool. Double team on James. 
Hachimura outside. Over pool. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Boy, what a job defensively. You couldn't play that any better. Pass to Jones. Kuzma with a screen on Russell. From eight feet. And there's Holmes on the assist from Jones. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They're ahead by 14. 157 left in the fourth quarter. And the Lakers making a change here. Davis has checked in. against Russell. Pass to James. There's a minute 47 left to play in the fourth quarter. Shot clock at six. Davis a screen from 12 feet. Tips it up. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Lakers lead by 16. Big time effort on the glass. And when you have a touch that soft, those tip-ins are easier to make. Kuzma, that's good. Yeah, Kuzma, the ability to score through contact, such an important aspect for him moving forward. Reeves, the pass to Russell. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. And until recently, it seemed like a foregone conclusion that the NBA's age limit would come back down to 18. Are you surprised that didn't happen, Grant? You know, B.A., I am surprised. We heard players saying it's not fair to make guys wait. You know, Commissioner Silver seemed receptive, so that was slightly unexpected that age 19 remains the rule. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the Lakers. Well, I have to comment on their strong performance tonight at the charity strike. And it might have won them the game. The ability to draw fouls and capitalize can be a real difference maker. And this result tonight, it gets them to 44 wins on the year. And that's a sweep of the season series. It's clear who the matchup favored. They wish they could have seen more of these guys. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for LeBron James. We saw him get a lot of touches tonight, and he wasted very few of them. Really made himself the backbone of their offense. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. Now here's Holmes. Pass to Poole. And he sinks the 11-footer. And the Lakers have possession. No need to shoot. This one is done. Yes, they've got to be happy with tonight's effort. James against Kuzma. James outside. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. A statement road victory. So impressive. Statement in DBA. It was in enemy territory, but they controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it. That's how you win on the road. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. LeBron, it's been a long road trip away from home. Aside from wins, what are you looking to accomplish? Well, for us, I think it's great to, to be on the road. I mean, it's just us. You know, you kind of have like a bunker mentality when it's just you on the road. It's just us. That's it. You know, so we're far away from our home. Uh, so it's just, you know, like I said, it's all about us and, and how we continue to try to get better, especially with our young guys. You know, I think it's a good experience for all of them. Growing that mentality will definitely help come playoff time. Thanks, LeBron. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. 
For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching tonight's game. Now our New Balance player of the game, Anthony Davis. <laughs>